from the Mars orbit mission, to launching 20 satellites through a single rocket, ISRO has made great strides. Its success has been unprecedented. ISRO has gained popularity in commercial space industry for two reasons, one, 100% successful foreign satellite launches using the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV. 2. Charging just 60% of the fees charged by foreign space agencies. Even companies like Google have chosen ISRO to launch its satellites. Since May 1999, it has successfully launched 57 international customer satellites from 20 countries on board the PSLV. In this video, we will look at five future missions of ISRO. Number five. Chandrayaan-1 was India's first lunar probe. It was launched by the ISRO in October 2008. Chandrayaan-2 will be India's second mission to the moon, carrying both an orbiter and lander rover module. It is to be launched on India's geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle, GSLVMK-2. In 2018, the mission is expected to improve our understanding of the origin and evolution of the Moon. It includes a lunar orbiter, lander and rover, all developed by India. The wheeled rover will move on the lunar surface, and will pick up soil or rock samples for on-site chemical analysis. The data will be relayed to Earth through the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter. As the name suggests, Aditya, that is Sun in Sanskrit, will be launched to study Sun. This will be the first Indian space mission to study the Sun. The Advisory Committee for Space Research conceptualized it in January 2008. It is being designed and will be built by ISRO in collaboration with various Indian research organizations. It's expected to be launched by ISRO, around 2019 to 2020. It will also be the first Indian mission to be placed at Lagrangian Point L1, which is far away from the Earth, and from where continuous solar observations are possible. Only NASA and ESA have successfully placed satellites at the L1 point as of date. Number three. Avatar, aerobic vehicle for transatmospheric hypersonic aerospace transportation is a manned single-stage reusable space plane capable of horizontal takeoff and landing. Its liquid air cycle engine would collect air in the atmosphere on the way up, liquefy it, separate oxygen and store it on board for subsequent flight beyond the atmosphere. The full-fledged manned avatar flight is scheduled for 2025. This has immense commercial and military potential. The South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation SARC, is regional intergovernmental organization and geopolitical union in South Asia. Its member states include Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, the Maldives, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. SARC satellite is Prime Minister Narendra Modi's brainchild. The SARC satellite is a communication come meteorology satellite for the SARC region. It was announced last year and its launch is likely in December 2016 end. Number 1 The NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar NISA mission will be the biggest collaboration between the two space agencies yet. The mission involves building a 2,600 kg dual-frequency synthetic aperture radar satellite that will effectively make a time-lapse movie of the Earth. It will be used to keep a close eye on disturbances in the ecosystem, ice sheet collapses and natural hazards. It is notable for being the first dual-band radar imaging satellite with both L and S band. Under the terms of the agreement, NASA will provide the mission's L-band synthetic aperture radar, a high-rate communication subsystem for science data, GPS receivers, a solid-state recorder, and a payload data subsystem. ISRO will provide the satellite bus, an S-band synthetic aperture radar SAR, the launch vehicle and associated launch services. 
China uses the strategy, known as salami slicing to antagonize its neighbors. Watch this video to know more.